วันนี้เราได้ดับพักพรที่จะนําเสนอบรรยายธรรมที่ลึกซึ้งเรื่องหนึ่งชื่อจดจดแต่เพียงพระเจ้ารายการรู้แจ้งเป็นภาษาอังกฤษในวันที่5กรกฎาคมคิดสักราช2013ในฝรั่งเศสโอเค anything else yeah good girl come hi master hi hello um I was thankful for master teaching me to know about this uh, method you know I can uh, let a lot of people have the benefit for that because uh, I had a shop in uh, sorry it's okay cry if you want I had the salon in New Jersey yeah so I had introduced a lot of people about um, Talking about the. It's <laughs> okay. For vegetarian or vegan, and then now I, my client come to tell me, everybody, you know, I since I saw the people, they very exciting for vegan, and they told me, yeah, and I'm vegan already. I said, oh, oh. very exciting. They yeah. said that uh, because they like beauty, I introduce them. If you vegan, your beautiful, your face will be beautiful, no pimple, <laughs> and then they try it. And they come tell me, yeah, my sister be vegan one year. I said, huh, ah, so good. Now she's so beautiful. She said, never meet, no more meat again. Oh. That's why I'm very thankful for you teaching. And then I had <laughs> let the benefit for the. I'm you know, thankful okay. to you. Good instrument. Okay, uh, helping people. Myself. Everybody listen, yeah. Yes. The kitchen people downstairs listen, yeah. The kitchen people are there or they are outside. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, remember. Okay, don't deny people the benefit when they are so sincere and they became vegetarian, and when they're so sincere and they they come to you with their heart and you know trust in you. You don't divert them into another corner where they get nothing. Do you understand? Yes. They came to you. They trusted you. They asked you. So it's your duty to show them the best you can. Mm? Also, to save you from having ego growing too big, all right? Because if the ego growing too big, <laughs> then the spiritual level is sinking small. Huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> Anything else? I have to put the master's tape in the salon. All the time, they will all be asking me about the method. I let them know about. How to meditate? You can watch the tip, you yes. know, master teaching. Yes. Yeah, they they listen that. It's good. A lot yes. of people they just go home and share. I know when they they sit down, they hear that. What's that? What's that? What's that channel? The TV. I say, <laughs> oh, that's my master. <laughs> I let them know. Yeah, they so. just they just come naturally. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But if they do come already, and if they sincerely trust your guidance, then. Please show them the best. Yes. Don't deny them this opportunity and this blessing. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, over there. <laughs> Hello, master. Thank you so much. So right now, I'm so excited. Is mother power is so strong, and because a lot of people became to vegan, because the last year I went to the farmer market selling the like. A, Vegan bakery, cookie, and the cake, mm. and uh, some uh, dumplings and the summer rolls, something mm. people love very much. And uh, compare this year, the people come to my booth More. and uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. And also, like uh, healthy store, local healthy store, they asked me. He said, uh, "You come deliver some lunch box to us." Then I deliver to one store, and then another store they oh. want. Deliver to other too, <laughs> and then so right now another store deliver. Very busy, huh? Yeah, yeah. and a coffee shop too. He <laughs> said, and then see that everything you cook is very delicious. He said, why? Because like, I make some energy bar or something. They said, do you put a special drug? I said, yeah, special drug is God's love. And then so people they love so much and uh, like a noodle. For me, I'm not a good cooker. I just play the ma. Master uh, singing the song or lecture, and uh, the food the people love very much. Mm -hmm. and, sure. Uh, so they even some people who eat meat, he said. Uh, After I eat your food, I don't want to go to restaurant anymore. Mm. So I just so you know thank you so much, Master. 
to <laughs> thank you, know, you to you. Like, you are the one who works. Why you thank me? Without you, so I cannot do that. <laughs> okay, understand. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, in that case, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, if you're more positive and really selflessly uh, giving your love through your food to offer people a uh, chance to know God, then then they love it. They love you. But don't forget salt and pepper and all that. Okay, huh? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> even with the best intention, uh, there are some little instrument, <laughs> material instrument that we could use. <laughs> so cook well, eh? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Don't just say recite the names or uh, pray to master, and then just <laughs> here take it. <laughs> but it does work. Some in some area it does work. Uh, one of the, your brother is in Taiwan. <laughs> we were laughing so much because he told such a funny story. When we were in, in Cambodia, we don't have much things. Uh, he's not here, otherwise he could tell you more funny than I could. <laughs> um, there was one uh, high-ranking soldier officer come to ask me for some, uh, some healing power or medicine, whatever, for his wife who has some chronic disease that the uh, doctor cannot cure. And uh, before he got to me, one of the monks and that brother already talked to him. And then uh, <laughs> the, the monk is not the real uh, uh, doctor. He, he practiced like Chinese medicine, yeah, but uh, not so, not official before, yeah, before he came. And after he came to become a monk with me, I said, you don't practice that anymore. If you don't have a license, <laughs> don't do it. Otherwise, I take your license away. <laughs> he has no license anyway. <laughs> so that's the way it is. And then so, um, so the brother tell the monk, the doctor monk, say, okay, you just go and give her some medicine. <laughs> the monk said, I, I don't have anything for that kind of... I'm not... Uh, so uh, professional, and I don't have that kind of medicine for her case. Yeah, even other doctors already uh, surrender. How am I going to do anything? Uh, but the, the brother said to the monk, "You just go. On. Whatever you have, give it to her, <laughs> and he'll be okay." <laughs> so, um, so the monk just try a little bit first, you know, because it's some harmless stuff anyway you know, aspirin or whatever, yeah, <laughs> give it to her. And then he cure her sickness forever. <laughs> so you just go, trust Master. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Lucky I don't have any license, doctor license, or I, that license will be taken away from me. <laughs> I'm serious. Don't mis misuse the God power, okay? That was just uh, probably a desperate situation that the, the soldier was, was very, very sincere. And in Cambodia, it's not that easy to find, you know, special medicine. Maybe other doctors don't have special equipment to cure her. And because of their faith, it heals her, okay? So I said, don't do it, huh? Tell you already, okay? If anything happens, don't blame me, huh? <laughs> okay, anyone else? Nice story you tell me. Nice, very nice. Yeah, buddy, buddy. Yeah, come. Uh, Master, uh, I try uh, to say in English. Uh, if I uh, will be in trouble, my sister helps me. <laughs> yeah? Uh, what do you speak normally? Polish. Polish, huh? I can't translate that. <laughs> okay, try English. I learn because uh, I want to understand all your lectures. Oh, very nice, sweet. Uh, Master, uh, I was uh, initiated uh, uh, last year in uh, August, mm. uh, and I uh, came back uh, to this uh, center uh, on October and uh, in uh, May, on May. Mm. Uh, because this is a beautiful place for me. Uh, when I was uh, here uh, in October uh, and I um, was meditation uh, and it was uh, first, first days yes. and my mind uh, was 
clearly my soul uh, was uh, was um, uh, feel, felt your love, master. Oh, good. I uh, heard your voice. Oh, good. In my mind. Mm, understand. You, you got me a message, a beautiful message, um, very important for me. Thank you, master. When I was in my uh, here, uh, it was the same. Uh -huh. That's yes, good. I got I got another message. Mm -hmm. I heard your voice in my mind in English. <laughs> yeah, wow. Lucky you learn English. <laughs> and I understand. And I'm so happy, Master. Good. Thank you. Good thank for you. For your love. Oh, thank you for all, for you, your care. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, enjoy. This is a place for everyone to come to meditate, yes? That's why I try to tell you, keep your mind focused on a higher uh, level of consciousness and not bother too much about mundane things so that our atmosphere stay always uh, beneficial to everyone who comes, okay? Yes. Yes, you want to say some? No? We just don't cry with her. <laughs> All right. Anyone else? You don't keep crying over around here. It's hard enough already. <laughs> Everybody cry. Look at all that. Uh, this is regarding my old country, Master. Wait a minute, love. Yeah, tell me. Uh, I've I read in the newspaper in uh, in the old country, Philippines, that. Uh, the government is trying to increase the tax for cigarettes. Uh -huh. And they call it sin tax. Sin tax? Yeah, sin, <laughs> sin tax. It's, it's a sin to smoke. And they conducted also interviews to several uh, peoples, uh, people, I should say, that uh, which is better for them not to smoke. Mm -hmm. And just because uh, the tax is so high now that people are trying to cut off there is smoking ah, habit. That's good. Good yeah. government. Yeah. Because it's thirty percent of the Filipinos smoke. Yes, uh, uh, old and young. Oh man, they, they are smoking <sighs> every, every, everywhere. In Polluting this bus, the air. In this, yeah. In every everywhere, master. Now I think they are cutting off their habits of smoking. Oh yeah, everybody knows now that uh, smoking is not good for your health. So. The governments also begin to realize more and more now all the harmful things that uh, originally people take it for granted, like it's a normal thing. It's not. It costs your health, it costs your intelligence, sometimes it costs uh, organ failures and cancer, all kind of things. It's terrible. And the government has to spend a lot of money also to, uh, to, to, to help these people to recover. And sometimes they don't recover even, despite all the money spent, yeah? So it's good. A a any government who take care of people in this way are good. Very good. It's about time that the government should uh, pay more attention to the citizens, to their health, yes, to their true need, and perhaps more true uh, environmental protection, and later, maybe more spiritual encouragement, yes. But if everyone can uh, already help with uh, protecting the environment by being vegan, then I'm very thankful to that government already. Yes, and no smoking, no drug, no alcohol, of course, yes. Now, some people say that in some Muslim country are too strict, you know? Like you, they don't let you drink and smoke and all that. But I say, what's wrong with that? <laughs> if it helps people, then then it's okay. Yeah, it doesn't harm anyone. <laughs> smoking bans save lives. Quitting smoking and restricting alcohol consumption, along with more exercise and higher fruit and vegetable intake, reduces the risk of strokes by more than half. United Kingdom's ban on smoking in public places reduces passive smoke effects, which are linked to loss of life for more than 11,000 people every year. In the U.S., the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration said that sales of tobacco to underage youth have reached all-time lows in all 50 states. 
The number of young smokers aged 18 to 29 has fallen by 30% in Victoria, Australia, thanks to smoking bans in pubs and clubs. Smoking rates in Japan have been declining since 1996. Smoking bans mean decreases in acute coronary syndrome. A study in Mississippi, USA found that heart attacks were reduced by 27% three years after indoor smoking was banned, with similar bans in 11 other worldwide locations also showing a reduction in both heart attacks and heart disease. Rome, Italy experienced an 11.2% decrease in acute coronary events in the first year after a smoking ban in public places went into effect. Israeli researchers report that for people who are able to stop smoking, the increased risk of sudden cardiac death seems to disappear immediately. The National Sanitary Institute in France announced a significant decrease in heart attack rates following the country's smoking ban, with benefits also noted for decrease in secondhand smoke inhalation effects. New York, USA experienced an 8% decline in hospital admissions for acute myocardial infarction after a comprehensive smoking ban which translates into healthcare savings of 56 million US dollars in one year. Smoking bans mean better health. A US medical study finds that quitting smoking has nearly immediate benefits, including lowered blood pressure and reduced heart attack risk within 24 hours. Data from the National Population Health Survey shows those who smoke have higher rates of chronic conditions, such as bronchitis, asthma, and high blood pressure. Smokers and those exposed to secondhand smoke develop colon cancer about seven years earlier than non-smokers. Smoking bans mean healthier children. Research from the Michigan State University in the USA and the David Hyde Asthma and Allergy Research Center in the UK show that the smoking habits of mothers during pregnancy increase asthma risks in some children. Children regularly exposed to secondhand smoke have more than triple the risk of lung cancer, as well as higher risks of other respiratory problems later in life. Smoking bans are good for business. In his annual report, UK Chief Medical Officer Liam Donaldson said a public smoking ban would save an estimated 2.7 billion pounds. 680 million pounds saved by having a healthier and more efficient workforce. 140 million pounds saved through fewer sick days. 430 million pounds saved from productivity loss from smoking on the job. 100 million pounds saved from cleanup costs related to cigarette smoking. Plus more. For more information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash harms dash benefits dash flyer. Okay. Some more? Hi, Martha. Hi. Um, there's a uh, an organization in the UK uh, called VegFest UK. And they VegFest UK. Um, and they said that if the current trends of people turning vegan in the UK continue... But I think by 2020, that uh, two thirds of the UK population will be vegan. Bravo. Um, and that I think Sainsbury's, which is like a major brand, um, supermarket brand in the UK, um, they're now having big TV adverts all over the TV saying that people should try vegan at least once a day. Oh, cool. wow. Fancy that. Hmm. Yes, I feel like people are changing a lot. Yeah. And, uh, Many television now a day they pay more attention to. Uh, mm, they don't say go vegan and all that, but they say how much forest has been clear for, you know, for meat and all that. And they also showing uh, programs on environmental damage. You know, in a way they are subtly uh, reminding people to be kind to our world. And before, we, we don't have so much program like that. Now, almost every television have, you know, uh, the one that I, I saw. They always include this kind of program. Yes. But one thing I really want the media to stop is showing people how to cook meat and fish and all that on the television. It's so cruel. So cruel the way they do it. <sighs> Yesterday, I saw one program. The program showing that um, before oh, they can sell more chicken and now they cannot sell, they can sell less and all that. But then, by the way, they show also all the chicken are, are, are tight with, the, with iron uh, 
clut or something hanging on this big uh, uh, roundabout. And they just keep passing one after another chicken like this, alive, hanging their legs on and in a cuff like that. Terrible. Imagine if it's you. How can people be so insensitive? Just to look at that, it makes you feel so painful already. Not to talk about doing it yourself to the chickens. Oh my God, it was so terrible. I cry again and again. It's terrible. I cannot imagine our world is so cruel, so cruel. Ah, oh, terrible. Uh, torturing the animal, innocent animals like that, and then also torturing each other, you know? And then it to become a habit. It's not too good. It's not too good. Oh, terrible, terrible. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption and or production. Fatal prion diseases transmissible through air or milk, rabies, anthrax, sleeping sickness, Q fever, norovirus, swine flu, Ebola reston virus. Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic resistant superbug infections and other dangerous bacteria strains. Blue tongue disease, E. coli, salmonella. Bird flu, mad cow disease or Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk. Pig's disease or PMWS, listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, Campylobacter, Clostridium difficile. Diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock. Food poisoning, heart attack, kidney failure from toxic additives like melamine and clenbuterol. Some of the costs of meat eating. Infertility. Eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32%, with additional meat consumption increasing the risk. Heart disease. Over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least 1 trillion US dollars a year. Cancer. Increased childhood cancers and adult reproductive cancers from hormones in meat. Colon rectal cancer. Over 1 million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer-related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat-related cancers every year. Diabetes. 347 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment in just the United States. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental. Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth. Uses up to 43% of the world's cereal. Uses up to 85% of the world's soy. Cause world hunger and wars. 80% cause of global warming. Plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption. Cowpox from milking cows. Bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Listeria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat lead to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis. Classified as a major allergen lactose intolerance, plus more. For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Okay, let's focus on more positive things. Ooh. Okay. It's very good news. Anything else from UK? Well, actually, about a year and a half ago, um, I mentioned to you that um, we were planning on making a film um, for the cinemas around the world about the world's awakening to a, a high level of consciousness. Mm. Um, and the other day, we just got uh, half the funding for it. 
um, oh. and we've got a number of high profile celebrities um, which oh, really? all want to take part oh really it's pretty cool so, how much is that half um, we've got we well it's hopefully about three million and then we need wow. another three they give you three million funding mm, fingers crossed I don't know for certain yet oh, oh. promise only right yeah oh, I was thinking maybe just uh, like a third thirty thousand so I can give you the other half <laughs> That's very sweet of you. It's the thought that counts. So that's why I ask how much. <laughs> okay, it's good. It's good. You continue. Maybe you get the whole thing. Yeah. Thank you. Then become rich and make more film about environment and animals, kindness. Yeah? Kind treatment. Uh, but in UK, I have to say that it's a very good country because in UK we have a lot of nice vegetarian food, ne? Those like cheating or from uh, uh, from the McCarthy, Linda McCarthy, a very nice stuff. Yes, many things vegetarian in 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 England taste is good, taste is good. Uh, because some other vegetarian uh, similar like a slice of veggie ham and all that, other country they don't make it as good. But England, they made it very nice. You know, they have sliced veggie beef, sliced veggie chicken, sliced veggie pork and tuna, or anything you name it. Very nice. Really tastes good. Well, if I have ever come back to England, it's because of that. <laughs> I have to confess to you. <laughs> really, they're nice, yeah? You can order them from, I think, what the name? Redwood Company. Redwood, yeah? Oh, they call it cheating. Cheating, like uh, fake <laughs> fake food. Tastes so nice, yes. Uh, sometimes if some people from England come, I say, please bring some. Because <laughs> uh, uh, my dogs love it so much too. <laughs> Especially the girl, you know, happy. Oh, she loves it. And the new vegan, cheese, he go crazy. Sometimes I forget to bring home. I have to ask somebody to come, come and bring it over to my other house. And she loves this slice of veggie ham, smoked and all that. Very nice. She loves good stuff, this girl. She really, whatever I like, she likes too. <laughs> it's funny. The other two boys are not very uh, sophisticated, but she is. She's like a human. She talks with her eyes. Uh, when when Hermit um, died, you know, and... I, I left his body in, in, in the house. Well, we had only a trailer, actually. It's not a house. But in that trailer, we did many uh, international video conferences. <laughs> Nobody know about it. It's a trailer, you know, very small, narrow, maybe two by four, something like that. A roommate, maybe two by four. So we have to squeeze together the, the, the two guys, the camera in front, right in front of me, and I'm sitting here, you know, yeah. And they squeeze in the corner, I squeeze there, and <laughs> very de dedicated people also. And for that respect, they are good. All of you are good like that. If it comes to uh, doing good to others, no matter how low level you are, you are very, very dedicated. I know that, I feel that, and I see that. I'm very proud of you. By the way, yeah, now I remember that thing. And uh, when Hamid was there for overnight, you know, because it was late when he came back from the hospital and I rushed him to another hospital because I thought maybe he's still alive and, and then later on not. And then so we brought him home, so waiting to, to go cremating next morning. And then all of them just sit around him all night. That in the morning when I told the attendant to remove his body, happy she was like... Terrified, you know, her eyes were so wide open. And she kept asking me with her eyes, where, where go, why? You know, she knows it, but she doesn't want to, to leave his body. And her eyes was this kind of sad and terrified and agonized at the same time. I never forget that eyes. I never forget these eyes. She was like this, you know, she looking at me and... And her eyes were rolling around. I never saw her like that before. Mm. And what if she go out uh, to do business, she always tried to find the bush to hide behind it. Yes, 
And now she's a little bit more used to it, but before she never do it when <laughs> when somebody looking or when she couldn't find some some bush to hide behind it. It's like that. In a high wave, there's no bush and she don't do it. How many hours doesn't matter, you know? Because sometimes in the highway and the gas station, they don't always have a good garden for dogs. It's all empty and grass. The two boys, no problem, <laughs> everywhere. But she she refused. And, and sometimes I take her out on the street. She doesn't want to do it. Yes, somehow she, because the the also the the neck, you know, she doesn't like the the leash. I say, I'm really sorry. This is a human world, and I have to do it. Uh, also to protect her, you know, from all the dogs, in case they come attack, and I can pull her back immediately, or the car. Yes, that's, so I have to explain all that to her. She's very human-like, my God. Sometimes I'm scared to sit next to her because <laughs> I feel like sitting next to a human girl or something, you know. <laughs> Not scared, but aware that she knows everything. <laughs> yeah, and she helps me uh, to pass down messages from Hermit sometimes. When I meditate too deeply, I don't aware of the next one, so I don't want to get up to go and get the next one. And they both wake me up take me out of samadhi to go to the next level. Or she just go and lay down there and bark, lay right there and then bark or whine until I come. I thought something wrong with her. I went and I said, what's wrong, what's wrong? And then she said, nothing, and then she left. She let me stay there. As soon as I sit there, she left many times, yeah? Yes. Um, even, even now, she still does it, you know. But sometimes I say, hey, happy, don't, don't care about that. I got it already. <laughs> it's just too low now. I, I can't eat it. Thank you very much anyway. She always go and lie in the, in the, in the spot where there's a connection. Always. Never failed. Never. Mm. Because sometimes in some places there are many spots, you know, that you can go and connect. She always lay there one by one <laughs> until I got it. Yes. And then whenever I say, thank you, good girl, she yeah, so happy, happy, <laughs> waking her tail, smiling so big and kissing me and all over. And then she left, <laughs> you know, into her house or to her, her bed. She only did her job, yeah, always. Very spiritually uh, in tune with Hermit, <laughs> because Hermit now is on the fifth level. Ah... Uh, and he can, they both can connect, yeah? Yes. That's, uh, that's uh, because they were together before, you know? So even though he passed away, but she was so pain, in pain, her eyes is the world of sorrow and, and reluctant to part. I was already very in pain, but I saw her like that. I, I was really helpless. She was really standing there, you know, like, Frightened. Why? You know why? She knows that he's going now. We're going to cremate his body. And she's just so frightened, you know, like so sorrowful. I said, oh, 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 oh. I said oh, let it go, happy. What can we do? But it breaks my heart more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. This girl is very special. All right. Oh my God, always come to dogs, huh? <laughs> oh, she loves good stuff. And today the kitchen gave me something with the seaweed taste, crunchy. Do you have them? No? No seaweed? No seaweed taste today? Probably very little, so they just probably bought from Taiwan and just cooked for me. Both of them ate it all. I had no chance. <laughs> Whenever something nice or new, if I say, you want to have a taste? I always share it with my dog. Want to have a taste? Oh, yeah, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> one more, more, oh, one more, one more. <laughs> Normally, Harley don't, don't really care about fancy stuff, but today he ate them, both of them, eat together. And I had no chance. I just have one, save one piece, so that I can ask the kitchen, do we have some more <laughs> for me? <laughs> But, or oh, maybe more for the dogs later, you know? Yeah. It's good, it's good. Next one.
<laughs> yes, uh, more positive news from UK. Wonderful. Just about two weeks ago, um, there's a ne- there was a news in a newspaper in the yeah. UK saying that the MPs or the politicians in UK urges families to eat less meat. Oh, really? That what they say is due to food shortage. Oh, That's true. wow. Yeah. Wonderful. They never say things like that before. Of course not. The people will cut them out. Yes. Of the political uh, arena. Okay, yeah. good. So now they start to say yeah, yeah. something more positive. Yes, of yeah. course. Because uh, uh, meat and all that oh. things uh, cost a lot. Cost a lot of energy and land and yeah. water, of course. So it's food shortage coming, really. That's yeah. why they buy things from other country, you know, from uh, developing country. And then make the developing country... Uh, uh, starving. So it's good that they eat less meat. It's wonderful. My God, bravo, yes. England. Bravo. And uh, continue from what uh, yeah, the UK brothers say about the Veg Fest um, organization. Mm. They um, organize vegan fair, one, um, one of the biggest vegan fairs uh, in Europe countries. Uh, you guys participate yeah, too? We did. In the, this year, March, we participated in Brighton. Yeah, and uh, a few sisters here. They were there as well with me, and we found that people uh, coming to the vegan fairs. They all came to our desk because we were promoting Master's um, teaching, uh, the meditation method in the DVD mm-hmm. and the books and uh, some vegan r- recipes mm-hmm. and uh, cake samples. The more the people here there, they were so uh, interested so keen to come to try the vegan cakes mm-hmm. and get more information from us and really accepting yeah, about it's good. learning the meditation yeah. and information. They just want to take, take, take. It's good, it's yes. good. If the media printed more, print more of these science things, huh? yeah, people love it. print more now because yeah. it's so gone. <laughs> yes, people love anything printed, they believe it more. Yeah, mm-hmm. When it's in black and white printed, they think, oh, this... Yes, Master, before I... Available. I need to convey this message to you. It's from Mr. Alan Knight. He is the chief uh, for this organization called IAR. This organization, they are the one serving the dancing bills in India. I understand. Because you awarded 10,000 yes, US yes, dollars yes, yes. two years yes. ago. Yes. And, uh, the Supreme Master TV interviewed them. Yes. And then later on, this, guy, uh, this Mr. Alan came to me... He wants to convey his sincere thanks to you again okay. because he received another ten thousand yes, pounds yes, yes. from you. Yeah, last year. We will give them more. Tell FG it to. It was over, Joe. Yeah, tell FG to give him another twenty thousand to continue to do the work. Okay. Okay. Please tell tell for Thank me. You. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, so, so many cruelty they do to animals just for what? It's terrible. My God. They're treating other beings so cruelly like that, and then how can they become healthy from their Bible or whatever? Understand? So cruel, so cruel. Terrible. I cannot bear to look at it. Many times I see the program about animals, oh, I cannot bear. Or they tie the elephant in one spot so that they train them very cruelly so to do the circus or to to carry load or to do tricks or something to earn money. Oh, terrible. I cannot bear it. If I don't remember, then I still can. But if I remember these things, I cannot bear it. Okay, next one. Anything else? Here? Yeah? <laughs> Hi. Um, this is uh, regarding, again, the, uh, the vegan uh, organizations in Toronto. Uh, we joined them uh, last month uh, for their march to close all the slaughterhouses in Toronto. To close, oh, yeah, and then? Yeah, so we marched and uh, with the slogan telling them, yeah. stop killing, stop eating meat. Yeah. Meat is a crime. Yes, yes, it and is then, murder. Yeah, and then we ended up in the, in the alley or in the street where the biggest slaughterhouse in Toronto we we marched there very silently, and then uh, we ended up in offering prayers to these uh, yes. fallen brothers and sisters. They call them fallen brothers and sisters because uh-huh. they are really our brothers and sisters. They are. They are very sweet, 
Yeah. And very wonderful. They never do harm to anyone. Yes. We are the one who do harm to to ourselves and to everyone else. Yes. And these are vegan. Uh, uh, the vegan organizations are very uh, good. Very, yes. Bravo. Mm. Bravo. And by the way, I like your prime minister very much. The Canadian. Thank you, Master. <laughs> Mr. Harper, no? Yes. He's a very. He looks very nice and. Present and he even wrote to, to me before thanking me for blessing Canada, <laughs> sending blessing all the way to Canada. He's so humble, and he looks so nice, huh? Very handsome and very clean, a good person, huh? Very lucky for Canada to have him again. <laughs> even he stay long, eh? In power, huh? Yeah, he's a very good guy. He stand out, yeah. Stands out, yes. So humble as well, <laughs> thanking me for extending blessing all the way to Canada. <laughs> I remember that sentence just now. Good guy, good guy. Okay, anyone else? No? Hmm. All right, I can go downstairs, okay? And then I come back. <laughs> I'll come back later, yes. <laughs> yeah, your mama is leaving you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. Taiwan? Korean. Korean. Taiwan behind. Oh. Oh. Tay ni men nai yang zi ha. Zi mo ban ha. Jiao bin you wu shi Taiwan la. Zuo jiao hou mian. Dui bu qi. 不过你们看我好几十几年了嘛,哈,让别人,Korea是最,自己中最多人的, <笑> Korea have a lot of people, a lot of people come, from the least the Korean people come very much, so, of course Taiwan more, yeah? and then Korea, but Korea is smaller, no? only half Korean came so many, oh, big list of people. I haven't got the list today yet. I got the list yesterday only, and a lot of people already. So, how are you, Korea? It's good. Yes, uh, your country is more peaceful now, right? Eh? Good, huh? Talking together already, north and south, yeah. Business, come back. Very good. Yeah, it's silly to fight each other, huh? Silly. Especially same. Same Korean, no? To the world we feel laughing, huh? How come brother and sister fight with each other? That's a very bad thing to do. Very bad. So it's better to have peace, yeah? Same house, no? Brother, sister. So fighting is really not, not a good thing to do. <laughs> yes, I think both the government knows that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you want to ask me anything? Taiwan? Yeah, one one team. Okay, No, if you want to ask some spiritual question, it's okay. Hmm? Or tell me something nice about your country, some positive news. Yeah, over there. Where are you from? China. China? Yes. Wow. Um, you know that we got a new president and the prime minister? In China? Yeah. Yes, I know. And um, after, uh, soon after uh, the, our new president uh, took the office, he ordered um, a ban of liquor. Ban of liquor, yeah. Ban of liquor and uh, the lavish banquet oh. in the Chinese army. Oh. And after that uh, action, and all the, uh, that action set all the Liquor companies' stock price down, and also the liquor price began to fall. Mm. 
And also uh, from that, uh, many uh, lavish um, restaurants and uh, high-end club closed because a lot of the government spending and the corruption goes into those fashion restaurants. Mm -hmm. So it's a very good sign. Mm -hmm. and it's indirect good effect, huh? Also. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some of the tragic tolls of alcohol. 2.5 million alcohol-related deaths per year worldwide. One in six deaths on the road in the UK are caused by drunk driving. In Australia alone, 70% of adults are negatively impacted by another's drinking, with 43% affected by physical or verbal abuse. Over 100 British children each week call a hotline to express concern about their parents' alcohol and drug use. Cost of alcohol-related illnesses, 186.4 billion US dollars in the United States. 2.41 million pounds for prescription medications each year in England, UK, with overall health costs in the billions. 210 to 665 billion US dollars globally. Disease. Higher amounts of alcohol increase the cancer risk. Even half a glass of wine daily increases the risk of mouth or throat cancer by 168%. Cancer of the liver, breast, colon, esophagus, rectum. Linked to 20% of breast cancer cases. Liver disease, cardiovascular disease, metal toxicity. Sleep pattern disturbance, including frequent awakening and reduced rest. Brain damage, amnesia and dementia. Brain shrinkage, organ failure, heart, liver, kidneys, stomach, pancreas, eyes. Birth defects. Children afflicted by anxiety and depression, mental retardation, fetal alcohol syndrome, stunted growth, facial deformity, sudden infant death syndrome, miscarriage, alcohol related violence, child abuse, 50% of cases, violence toward loved ones, 30% of cases, violent acts, 40 to 80% of cases, suicides, 20 to 50% of cases, plus more. For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Um, another thing is, um, at the beginning of this year, in two of the provinces, Yunnan and Guangdong, have, in China we have the first labor camps. And uh, two of the provinces stop approving new people coming, being sent to the uh, first labor camp. And our prime minister also, new prime minister also promised that they are go, going to reform this first labor camp. Mm, Forbes, yeah, Forbes have a, a report saying that uh, if this um, labor camp uh, can be closed down, it will be a major human rights um, advancement in the history. Yeah. And the, the, the folks even say that uh, China could earn a um, Nobel Peace Prize yeah. for this. I give them immediately. Ching <laughs> Hai Peace Prize. <laughs> uh, Shining World Leadership yes. Award. Very good, bravo. Good man. He is younger and, you know, more in touch with our modern society. Yes. China is very much changing now, yes. all the time, changing better, better all the time. Yes. Okay, I'm very happy to hear. <laughs> I'm very happy to hear your new president and prime minister are so in tune with more modern time. Yes. And more for the good of others. Yes. And really care for the, for the citizens of China. I'm very happy. Okay, he looks like a good man. <laughs> your Fu Bao. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Anyone else? Russia's new pr and the prime minister, former uh, president, Medvedev, mm -hmm. and recently uh, we read the news and um, say that he 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 said he's a vegetarian. But then we verify that, uh, and uh, the Russians uh, Peter say it's not sure. But then um, he actually practiced yoga for many years. He can even do the upside down. 
Mm. Yeah, so... I can do that. So it's so better than me. <laughs> so the people say, well, if he can do yoga, it's more... Uh, more possible that he is a vegetarian, just he don't say it openly. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, then we, we do some research on, on his good deeds. And actually, he and the President Putin t together, they have banned cigarette smoking in public. Yes. That they were effective since the June 1st. Yes. And then there was a banned liquor uh, advertisement. Yes. And another thing is, he signed a law. Um, try to prevent or to reduce the abortion. Mm. They also put the, all the gambling to very far corner of Russia. Yes. Mm. They do many good things. Yes, yes. People don't really appreciate it too much, but uh, yeah. they are the, the good leader that Russia can have. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Maybe, of course, the political is not that easy to be a good president or, or prime minister. You know, there are always some competition and turbulence and all that. But they do the best they can for the society, to clean up society. Yes. And uh, Mr. Medvedev looked yeah. like a very clean man. Yes, Like yes. a very correct man. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he, he, I feel there is love in him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But of course, when the politician in the international arena, they don't always tell their private things because people don't, don't like that. You know, people don't, <laughs> because a vegetarian might not be trendy yet, you know, so yeah. they don't want to, uh, have a bad influence on their career. Mm -hmm. yes. They want to avoid more gossip and all that stuff, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. You know what it's like when you are different. Mm -hmm. When you're different, uh, people look at you. Ah, oh, funny, funny mm -hmm. eyes. Thank you for your good news from Russia and China. You did really do some homework, huh? <laughs> Very good, and you speak English even. <laughs> yeah. Well, just remember another one. Yeah, tell me. Uh, the small country, Bhutan, and they're aiming to be the first organic nation. In the world, wow! And um, they, Bhutan, I think, huh? yeah. And um, they measure the total well-being of the nation not by GDP but by the gross domestic happiness. Oh, so they think this uh, the, the people's happiness is more important than the GDP. Well, of course, yeah. <laughs> Very good. But I also tell you that if people, I told you in the first day that if uh, any country do uh, agriculture. And people are more happy because they're secure. After all, they maybe if you don't have much clothes, you're okay. But if you don't have much food, then you're not okay. So the agriculture country, they're happier, uh, more stable, more feel more secure and happy. Because they work in the sun, you know, in the fresh air all day, all the time. And they eat from their own hands, produce. So the farmers are always happy, yeah. Nowadays, people don't want to be farmers anymore because they think it's a hard job, but actually it's a very happy job to do. That's good. Good for Bhutan. <laughs> okay, anyone else? Oh, yeah, behind there. Taiwan. <laughs> 叫 Welcome to Vegan Wear 就是他好像那个一个明星叫做 Justin 他演过 Social Network Justin Timberlake Yeah 可能是他就是那个明星很出名啊对对对对以前是跟那个 就穿上一个大豆腐 然后他就说, Welcome to Vegan Wear 他就是他有一个在二十下主流媒体上表演的那个东西 再一个就是那个, 那个 Bill Gates Bill Gates他就是那个微软的那个总裁 Bill Gates 然后他最近他就是他很支持一个就是在美国的一个研究是把那个就是那个做是用那个 plant based food 但做成是那个chicken flavor 然后他就说这个是很好就是我们人类可能future是这样因为很多人他可能没有办法去就是完全变成vegan 但是他如果有这种 
，呃，吃起来很香甜。哎、呃，对，也许这个就是我们的 future，、嗯、解决这个 first shortage 这个问题。变成 vegan， OK、嗯。这是这是两个。Very good。然后第三个就是现在就是，他美国有一个 website 叫 meetup.com， 就是大家去在网上组织不认识的人，但是有共同的爱好，组织在一起。那就很多是，比如说他叫 vegan meetup， 就是在同一个 city 里面一些 vegan， 然后他就在一起，每个月在一起去吃饭。他也许那个城市没有 vegan 的纯 vegan 的 restaurant， 但他们四五个人一起或十几个人，呃 ，depend on site。他们到那个 restaurant， 然后说啊，我们都是 vegan， 然后他就去 order the vegan meal， 就是这样。Okay. 然后我去过当地的一两个，就是好像他说哦，他有的人就说我去年开始变成 vegan 啊，或者是呃，就是最近就是很最近，然后就变成 vegan， 然后他们就交换，哎，我我如果是 vegan 以后怎么样子吃的更 healthy 啊一些，就交换一些这些信息。就是、OK， 我觉得这是一些、嗯、就是在变化，就是 OK， 那、okay. 谢谢师傅 ，OK。亲爱的师傅，我是从台湾来，然后呃，我在一所那个大学里头做素食，然后里面的那个学生跟我说：“阿姨，我已经吃素两个月了。”那我就问他说：“哎，你是家里的宗教信仰还是怎么样？”他说：“不是的，他是因为看到我们的那个 DVD 里面有一些动物被杀的很残忍的，他就决定吃素了。”我听了好高兴，那你觉得？嗯，在那边服务非常的有意义，这样。OK， 谢谢，谢谢。